before we start with Animeos, I just want to remind you something about hemoglobin and hemoglobinopathies. So, first of all, to remind you out of physiology um, concerning uh, hemoglobin chain. So, we got the alpha, beta, gamma, and, and delta chain. And basically, uh, alpha is a bit different because it's coded on chromosome 16, and it has actually two genes, thus four alleles. Uh, in contrast to chain alpha, beta, gamma, and delta are encoded on chromosome 11. And all of them got only one gene. They're in encoded by one gene, so that's only two alleles. Two alleles. So, and how is it with the uh, with the hemoglobin? So, normally a adult, in case of adults, 70, 97, 97 percent of all the hemoglobin pre present in, in an adult is ABH, H, hemoglobin A, which which means there are two alpha chains and two beta chains. In in the rest, uh, in the, uh, the the other three percent, it's a combination of uh, of, of hemoglobin alpha two which is a, uh, there are two alpha chains and a delta chain, and also hemoglobin F, the, 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 the one which is dominant in the fetus, and that, that one is alpha, two alpha chains and gamma chains, okay? So th this is normally present in, in humans, and remember these two, they have higher affinity for oxygen, okay? The, the hemoglobin A2 and especially uh, hemoglobin F. And then, and then there are some abnormal hemoglobins, and that is hemoglobin H, which is nothing else than uh, four tetrads, four beta tetrads. So, so that means there are four betas together, and we're, we're going to talk talk about this in a second, in, in terms of um, uh, thalassemias, and also the the Bard's hemoglobin, which is a uh, uh, gamma four tetrad. Nothing else than a gamma four tetrad. So um, these two are present in thalassemias. We'll talk about it in a sec. And then there is a hemoglobin S, which is a hemoglobin that is present in in uh, cycle cell anemia, and it has two normal uh, two alpha chains. And then mutated, I will I will name it like with a small s, mutated beta chain. Okay. So so this is just uh, a reminder and now let's get to the hemoglobinopathies and and basically we can look at the two major groups and one group is a a uh, let's say mutation in either a alpha or beta chain but in this case we talk about the the beta chain mutation and th this is exactly cycle cell anemia so the beta chain is mutated and actually there's th there there is only one there, there is one um, exchange of uh, instead of valine, there, there is a glutamic acid, and uh, this totally changes everything. This small change does uh, one thing, and that is that the HBS hemoglobin, which is again alpha, alpha, and then a mutant beta, changes totally features of the hemoglobin S and this hemoglobin S now very like likes very much to get to form a polymer in a way so so these the, these molecules they bind together and it may, make makes a long chain and this of course totally changes the properties of the erythrocyte and what it does is because this this, this gets firmed and firm it changes the whole conformation of the erythrocyte so instead of having it having the erythrocyte like this, like the biconcave disc, we're having a cycle over here. And unfortunately, this cycle is very firm. And uh, so it's stiff, it's not elastic as the the, the normal uh, erythrocyte fill, filled with normal hemoglobin A. This is full of HBS, this is ABA. And because of this chaining, uh, the uh, uh, and, and change of the conformation also 
these erythrocytes uh, like to, um, let's say, uh, form a clots. They aggregate a lot. So, so, so thanks to this, the people with cycle cell anemia, and that means that, that the both genes are mutated. I mean, both alleles of the one gene, both alleles of the one gene are mutated. And that's why they are prone to, let's say, ischemia of retina, strokes, MI, also ischemia of the bone marrow and etc. So they are at high risk of uh, clot formation and that's the, their main problem in a way. In contrast, heterozygotes, which have only one allele mutated, they, we call that a trait, cycle cell trait. Those are the heterozygotes. And they have basically no problems except uh, thing you wouldn't expect it, it has nothing to do uh, like like it has something to do with blood but rather with with um, with uh, blood uh, let's say filtration because the thing what you see in a trait is that they are not able to concentrate the urine so they have isostenuria so watch out they can be endangered in uh, when they're dehydrated in in high, uh, like like in warm environments etc so so they are at risk from this the, this point of view, but uh, otherwise they're totally fine. So trade is total cycle cell trade is in a way fine. And basically um, in terms of malaria, they're sort of protected. The trade is sort of protected. Anyways, or protective. So, so this, this was due to, uh, let's say mutations of the beta chain. Um, on the other group is, uh, is uh, rather the other group means that they are decreased. Uh, the alpha and beta would be normal with their sequencing, but th just the amount of of these chains produces decrease. And those are the uh, the groups called thalassemias. Actually, thalassa means um, seeds, and basically, originally, people who came uh, and were living near the or at the area of Mediterranean seas. So that's why you call it thalassemias. Anyways, uh, you have majorly two types, two major types, alpha and beta. And alpha means, alpha thalassia means beta chain is produced normally, but the alpha chain is, uh, alpha chain production is decreased. And the same means for beta. Beta means beta chain production is decreased, alpha is fine. And so, because alpha is four alphas, we got four options. It depends how many LLs are functional. So uh, if one is on, uh, only deleted and it's not functioning and the others are functioning, we got a, you call this a silent form. They have no problem, so they're totally fine. If, they, if the two LLs are uh, not functioning, then it's a, we call this a trait or th thalassemia minor. And th they have a very weak uh, anemia and it's not a, any, in a way, it's not a such big deal. It could be sometimes with transferring, but not, but not so much. The big deal is when three alleles are deleted. Okay, so so this is a, a typical alpha thalassemia major, and typically what you see because there are almost no, there are some alpha chains produced, but not so much. Typically over here, exactly you see the ABH hemoglobin, and also Bart's but majorly the ABH. So remember, this is typical. ABH hemoglobin is very increased in this type. That means that instead of alpha chains, you, you got beta four tetrads. But not only this, also you can have the Bart's hemoglobin a bit, which is uh, gamma four tetrads. So four gammas over here, okay? So these are increased typically. And of course there are very low, low, uh, firmly low amounts of hemoglobin A. Um, in cases of deletion of all four LLs, uh, unfunctional four LLs, then this is lethal. Lethal, or the, the, the newborn dies, uh, the baby can die in utero or after birth. It's very lethal form. And over here, the majority of the hemoglobin produced is the Bart's hemoglobin. So that was the alpha th thalassemia. And let, let's look at the beta thalassemia. Over here, we got two options. Either it's uh, a heterozygous, so one LLL is mutated, 
and this this is this is a you can call it beta thalassemia minor and it's a very weak uh, form or pretty nice form and some say it's also protective against malaria in contrast to this uh, beta thalassemia major means there are no uh, beta chains and in in this case uh, the the hemoglobin which really increases is the one without the beta change and typically it's the one with the delta chain so it's the hemoglobin a2 and this is a hallmark actually so ba basically if if someone and all of these both of these are, are microcytic okay these are microcytic anemia so Typically, if you have a microcytic anemia and you check for hemoglobin A2 and it is increased, it, it could be very likely thalassemia B, B thalassemia, okay, beta thalassemia. Uh, not only this, also in some cases, low amounts of hemoglobin F can be produced as well. Small amounts, okay. And why, okay, and so, so basically we talked about um, uh, cycle cell anemia, anemia hemoglobin and alpha and beta thalassemias and the important thing you should realize is that normally the the ABA H, hemoglobin A HB A hemoglobin is able to, like to to survive for 120 days but in terms for example of hemoglobin S the lifespan of the erythrocyte I mean erythrocyte is reduced to 20 to 30 days and that's why these hemoglobin empathies actually are cause of hemolytic anemias okay so well this is i think this is enough now for the for the hemoglobin uh, let's say hemoglobin review so let's get to the next chapter. So thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe and ring that bell. And as always, check the description below for supplementary questions and other stuff.